book of Proverbs, chapter 15 and verse 10. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. Who are attacked and defended themselves, and more importantly, defended the name of Yahweh, by Shema Mashiach, and also defended their brothers from the vexation and the attacks of the heathen that happened on that day. And, uh, you know, you got a lot. I just want to put this out there. It's a lot of, um, and, and I want to be temperate and mild in my word choice. There's a lot of um, just outright wicked men out in Israel who are looking and looting and, and plotting for brothers to be attacked or saying, well, why did y'all do this? And why did y'all do that? Why were y'all out there? And y'all got carnal and y'all shouldn't attack them and y'all went and y'all you know provoked them and and, he, and and you know first and foremost you you negro you make me sick man right if you have put that out there and you didn't examine the matter and you didn't inquire diligently concerning what happened and you had a presumptuous judgment first of all you're wicked i'm gonna just put that out there because you have violated and we're going to go through the precepts we're going to go through the scriptures, the law, statutes, and the commandments, because you niggas make me sick, man. You get up there on the keyboard, you tap your little, your, your nasty fingers on the keyboard, and you have not examined the matter. You have not examined the matter. You have not followed the scripture. You're being effeminate. You got emotional. You're an outright coward. And I, I don't, I, I wouldn't want to be around no Negro like that in a day of evil and in a time of Jacob's trouble, because those are the ones that are going to say, oh, you're not in my camp. I'm not going to defend you. Right, or you're not in my, you don't teach my doctrine, then then you you know you're thrown to the woods essentially. Well, I don't know you. Right, those are the type of Negroes with fringes on who don't know what this truth is really about, man. Those are the type of people that the Most High is against, man. And I'm talking to you Negroes who went on social media, who went and made posts, who hit up brothers, who didn't examine the matter, and made all types of false accusations false judgment you have no idea what happened you're secretly hoping that brothers did something wicked so you can say aha i got something on these brothers i always hated wfi i couldn't stand them they went against this they went against that aha we finally got them you negroes are going to be destroyed man because you have evil and hatred inside of your heart you didn't examine the matter you're rooted you have envy rooted in you hatred and malice rooted in you if you're one of the brothers that's plotting and hoping and waiting for brothers to slip up and fall, then you're no better than those Palestinians, man. You're no better than the Edomites. You're no better than these other nations, man. Sitting up there lurking and watching the video, looking for a brother to slip up, man. Now, yeah, Hold on, did I miss the part when he spit? No, it's, it's gonna replay. All right. Well, you said what came? If you see, can y'all see the cursor? The mouse? Car. Now this guy right here, look at this guy carefully. Look at all of the brothers in order. And watch this man with the black hoodie. Right? So we have to watch this. We have to check this footage out, man. Oh. All right, Shalom. <clears throat> I'd like to start off by giving all praise, glory, and honor be to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachwadash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS, better known as Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, the tabernacle of David. And uh, before we get started, uh, disclaimer, I'd like to say Salakia for an advance um, due to background noise as I'm outside the uh, plantation. And um, the spirit hopped on me to do a response of uh, dealing with this particular individual who goes by the name of Adam Abbott. All right. Who I believe is the. Uh, the uh, head of Watchmen for Israel or known and better known as the Wi-Fi camp. All right. Now, I'm sure many of you uh, brothers have seen multiple videos back to back of the rest of the elders um, and uh, even a few of the apostles uh, 
do a response on this individual and really overall the entire uh, Wi-Fi group. But um, I don't like me myself. I don't really like to go back and forth and address the stu uh, you know, the the ignorance that a lot of these Israelite brothers do, uh, especially in certain camps that don't walk in the spirit, but they walk with a carnal mindset. And that's exactly what happened to those individuals out there this past Saturday. Now, um, you know, where there's edification out of this, I'm going to bring it out. And simply, I wanted to bring out some edification from this particular situation, because see, a lot of you individual, uh, a lot of you Israelites overall uh, talking to the men. All right. Those of you that go out on the highways and byways, this is something that you do not do. All right. And even as the apostles say, and I'm going to say it, that was the wrong move to even be around such a hostile environment. All right. Now, let's start off with this precept here, because uh, this doesn't have to be long, but this is Matthew chapter 10. And. Um, let's see here, Matthew 10 and verse. Um, it's lucky. Let me just find it real quick. All right, because see. Um, it was all it was already said that we were supposed to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Let me grab that real quick. Salakia. Yeah, Matthew 10 and 16. Salak. All right. I didn't have it highlighted. Right. So when we are sent forth out here to teach our our sole purpose in this ministry is to defend the gospel and just do the work and just preach, man. That's why the Bible calls it, you know, uh, the scriptures say that, you know, this word is likened unto a two edged sword. This is our sword. This is a spiritual fight, not a physical carnal fight. Right. But this is Matthew 10 and 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep. OK, in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Now, to get a full understanding, and that is you should have took wise counsel asking your elders that would have been a good idea to have gone out knowing the hostile situation that's surrounding these protests. And then on the flip side of that, when you're egging on those uh, Palestinians and you're talking about their God, you know, going into, you know, Allah is not going to save you this, that, and the third. At the end of the day, expect something to come out of that, man. And so you were technically asking for trouble. You were technically asking for trouble. But the scripture says in Romans, the 12th chapter. OK. And we're going to start at verse 18. It says, if it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. And this is where you have to use discretion. And unfortunately, uh, you know, this Wi-Fi group, them individuals, they didn't use discretion. They didn't use wisdom. OK. And now he wants to sit up here, Mr. Abbott. Uh, himself and he wants to say like we you guys didn't examine the truth and you didn't do this in the third well the scriptures say right first corinthians 2 at 15 but he that is spiritual judgeth all things yet he himself is judged of no man so you know when we all saw the video we all you know concluded that that wasn't wise at all to be out there in the, in, the, in the heat of the battle. Now, the Lord told us, okay, Zephaniah 3 and 8, which says, Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So what is that saying? That's simply saying that 
prophecy is being fulfilled because Yahweh Shai told us, let's go to Matthew, the 24th chapter. All right. At verse seven, straight to the point, which says, for nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Now, this is a situation between the Palestinians and Amalek. OK. And so because of that matter, that's between those two heathen nations. We don't have nothing to do with that, man. And no, we're not on either side. We're not on the Palestinian side. We're not on the uh, Israeli side. We're on, a, as the beloved elder Apostle Kabar said, we're on the side of prophecy. OK. As the, and if, if you, you know, Adam Abbott were a true man of the Lord, you would have applied where it says here, trust in Yahweh with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. All right. And as we say, you should have took in counsel to see would have been a good idea to have your your men out there on the highways and hedges surrounded by a hostile situation dealing with that protest. That wasn't a wise move. OK. That wasn't a wise move at all, man. And, you know, when you take matters into your own hands, all right, <laughs> There's going to be some consequences. Now, the scripture says that, you know. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh his enemies to be at peace. This is uh, Proverbs 16 and 7. When a man's ways please the Lord, Yahweh, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. And so a lot of times when you in situations like that you don't take matters into your own hands man you just leave it in the hands of the heavenly father man you know and hey i've had i've been in you know certain situations a lot of people seen the uh you know a few um camp sessions that i uh going back you know i had about a group of uh 10 to 15 teenagers um come down to the camp you know asking questions stuff and the eldest one, um, you know, was a little bit rough around the edges, you know, uh, which you can't you couldn't have uh, saw him on the camera. But uh, it wouldn't have surprised me that, you know, that whole group would have been carrying uh, weapons and stuff, knives and stuff. And I could have got got at the camp, man. And that's the reason why Yahweh Shah said I send you forth as, you know, uh, sheep amongst wolves. And who is the sheep? We're the sheep. The heathen nations are the wolves. And even in the midst of uh, our people, you got our people, two thirds of Jake's who are uh, disguised as uh, sheep, but really inwardly they're wolves. You know. But, you know, we also know that. The scriptures also say there is a way. Which seemeth right. Right. Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. All right. And see what's going to happen is. Yeah. How about she was shy is going to destroy a lot of you uh, niggas out here, man. You too, Adam Abbott, if you don't repent. You know, you can't sit up there and, and say, you know, uh, keyboard warriors and sitting behind and you didn't examine the full video. The whole fucking video is viral, man. Even the news. The news even put the video out, man. Here it is. You got whoever was the top leader speaking on behalf of the camp that past Saturday. All right. They were going into things and they were egging on the Palestinians. So it's an old saying when you play with fire, what, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to get burnt. But the scripture says. Do nothing to have the ministry blamed. Second Corinthians chapter six and verse three, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. And that was, and you know, it's, it's all you can do is shake your head because this is, we're in a, uh, you know, we're in the best time because of prophecy, but at the same time, um, you're, you just given ammunition to Esau Edom. To be able to use that clip so that when they come down 
upon us having great wrath because they know that they have but a short time. They're going to use video clips like what went down this past Saturday dealing with the uh, Watchmen for Israel camp and the situation that's, you know, spired out of control with the Palestinians. They're going to use that to demonize us, man. And so this is in an occasion to have the ministry uh, blame and you guys are not thinking. Once again, you're not you're not spiritual minded, you're carnal minded. Because as it says in Ephesians, let's grab Ephesians real quick. OK. Ephesians six. All right. And I'm going to start at verse 10, dealing with the armor of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the most high, which is this truth that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. You had no business out there, you know, tussling up, fighting. All right. OK, yeah. You know, you if you want to throw in there and say that the guy in a black hoodie, you know, spat on one of the brothers where it's like, OK, well, what were you saying? Because. It's a difference to where if you are coming in a soft tonality uh, or, you know, a soft type of tone or whatever, you can easily cease um, wrath. You can cease strife. Right. And we'll get that in Proverbs, the 15th chapter. But Ephesians 6 and 12 says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So our fight is not on the carnal, all right, where we got to get physical now. Is there an exception to the rule? Absolutely, all right, because you may find yourself in a situation to where you actually have to defend yourself, okay? But this is why, you know, the, the scripture says the, the angels encamp it around those that fear the Lord. Psalms 34 at verse 7. And it says, The angel of Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Okay? And, you know, the Lord can make you come up out of any, you know, situation. All right? If you believe and trust in him. But it also starts with you learning how to use wisdom. And where do you get the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in the fear of Yahweh by Shemi Shai? Understanding how to walk within this ministry. Right? And, you know, this is the same individual. <laughs> um, Judgment. You have. Salakia. Yeah. This is the same individual, all right, that got arrested a couple of years ago down in, uh, I think it was Orlando or Miami, one of the two. And that situation could have easily been avoided had he would have agreed with thine adversary as it says in the scriptures so it's like you know you haven't really learned anything man and the reason why you haven't learned anything is because you've despised um the council of the elders right let's grab that all right because you think just because you you learned under the elders a little bit took what you needed and then you know you wanted to sit in a seat on the throne to have your own camp and to do this, you know, total disrespect. But this is a uh, Sirach eight and eight. It says, despise not the discourse of the wise, but acquaint thyself with their proverbs for of them. Thou shalt learn instruction and how to serve great man with ease. But the key part of there is thou shalt learn instruction, because if you were a learnt Israelite coming up under the tutelage of the elders, OK, you would have counseled your men never to uh, partake in going out there or at least around that area, knowing that it was going to be, uh, you know, a protest. You could have went somewhere else. You could have went somewhere else and then. Not even to try to diffuse the situation. Let's get Proverbs, the 15th chapter. It says, verse one, a soft answer turneth away wrath. But grievous words stir up anger. So wh what did you really apply? This is how we know that you, you know, individuals were not walking in the spirit. 
You see? You're just ready to fight, ready to throw down. So, you know, you got to watch out for these um, clickbait Israelites. Watch out for these, um, you know, I need follower Israelites. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to go out here, you know, so I can get my numbers up. Because really, when you look back at all of this, all right, it's always those Israelite camps that uh, have the most going on, especially where they got microphones and, you know, they are speaking. Um, you know, so lock it. Give me a second because I'm in the car real quick. But you got to watch out for those Israelites, um, you know, that make a a video putting themselves out on front street um, just just to get a huge following or views and stuff like that, man. We're not out here for views. We're not out here for followings, you know. Now, <clears throat> I don't take away from watching the Israel or going out there on the highways and byways and doing the work. All right. Because, you know, those brothers, you know, they get down, you know, but, you know, come on, man. Like this really shouldn't even have to be uh, a video. But like I said, it's edification in it, you know. Let's get Matthew to 20, uh, Salaki, Matthew, the fifth chapter about, you know, agreeing with thine adversaries, because when you in tough situations. All right. Like what's uh, spiraled out of control with uh, Wi-Fi, you have to know how to apply wisdom. This is what the Messiah said, you know, Matthew five and twenty five. It says, um, agree with thine adversary quickly whilst thou art in the way with him, lest at any time. The adversary delivered thee to the judge and the judge delivered thee to the officer and thou be cast into prison. That whole situation could have went down very, very badly. It could have went very, very badly, man. You see. But, you know, you can't. um. <laughs> Whew. Let's go back to uh, Proverbs. And I think that was. Um, let's get this here. Proverbs 29. And. Let's see here. Verse nine, it says, if a wise man contended with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. And see, you got to be careful, man, especially out in these protests, because, you know, these heathens are right. They're hot, emotional. There's a lot going on. All right. And if you're not being circumspect. OK, around thy uh, adversaries, around thy enemies. All right. Anything can pop off, man, at any given point in time. At any given point in time. Right. You're supposed to wait on your how about shot. Remember, th there's a time and place for everything, man. We we are supposed to just be preaching the gospel. It would have been very simple for, you know, those brothers to just pack up. And move to a different location to get away from the drama. You know, oh, you know, I'm we're going to go out here today. They they're going to be deep. Then to add insult to injury. Here it is. You got uh, one of the, uh, you know, elders who goes by uh, Chief Ephraim. All right. I call him the pull up Israelite. Now they're going on a, a, the, the, the way to say. They're going to be there Saturday supporting uh, Watchmen for Israel. So it's like you, you're asking for trouble, man. You're not you're you're not in the spirit of your how about Shemel Shah, but yet you call us uh, wicked niggas. How does that work? Here it is. The scripture says open rebuke is better than secret love, but yet you don't want to hear the rebuke. So, you know, with that being said. Let's go. I can get it. I probably spelled it wrong. But let's get this precept here. 
Proverbs 15 and 10. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. And he that hated reproof shall die, man. You know, so, you know, hey, thank Yahweh by Shimmy Shai for the remnant for the elect, man. Because if there hadn't been a remnant, we'd be absolutely through, man. We'd be absolutely through. Because Jake is Jake going to do what Jake going to do at the end of the day, man. You can't you, you can't get around, you know, um, Jake's emotion feeling, and, you know, see the scriptures talk about that. Let's get this. Um, what's that? Proverbs 16. Uh, let's see here. Proverbs 25 and 28. It says, he that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls, man. And this this goes into, you know, having temperance, which temperance means um, discipline. And a lot of you brothers have no discipline, man. You have no discipline. You You can't you don't know how to evaluate the situation to say okay is it wise for my men to be out here because you know the 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 protest is growing and you know large in numbers and you know anything could pop off these people are emotional so hey you know what the best thing to do let's let's pack up let's pack up men and let's move it out let's go to a different location that would have been the wise thing to do but hey at the end of the day all you can do is just shake your head, man. We don't we have no sympathy. All right. For individuals like this, man, hard headed individuals. We have no sympathy. All right. And it's sad because the younger Jake's a lot of you younger brothers that's coming in. You look up to cats like this because they got the swag, the uh, shirt fringes. They got the numbers. Right. So, hey. And, hey, you know, how about Shemi Shai is playing chess with you niggas, man. And he know exactly what he's doing because the ones who he don't want, okay, he's setting y'all up for the okie doke, man. And y'all going to fall right in line and y'all going to be led astray, okay, with the rest of these idiots that don't know what they doing, man. That don't know what they doing. And I agree. Just like the apostle said, man, you had no business being out there. That never would have happened if you didn't send your men out there like that. Should have been no reason for them to be uh, been around that at all. You know, so, you know, really, that's all I wanted to say on that. I didn't want to make this a video to where it's like, oh, you know, y'all always picking on brothers. No, it's, it's just that. At the end of the day, we're trying to show, you know, Israel things to do and what not to do. All right. According to what the scripture says, man. The scriptures is plain. We're not supposed to, uh, you know, be, you know, meddling in matters <clears throat> that don't pertain unto us. We're not supposed to be brawlers. We're not supposed to be fighting. We're not in that time right now. We're in a time of fisher. We're fishers of men. We're supposed to be fishing for the elect. But there's going to come a time when those of us who are found blameless and are accounted worthy to escape and are, you know, given change to those spiritual bodies, we're going to go from being fishermen to men who are hunters. But this is not that time, man. So, hey, let's we're going to end it on here, right? All right. First Peter chapter five, verse eight, which says, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, man. And this can be um, this can be evidence used, you know, for Esau, Edom to demonize us even further, man. So you got to be wise and you got to be circumspect. On the type of vibration that you're setting for the house of Israel, man. You know, so with that, I hope this was edifying. It's on to the next. Shalom.